So, The Pit. We waited almost a year for this expedition to release, and once upon a time, we were actually very excited to see what it was all about. Before it actually dropped, fans of Fallout 76 had absolutely no idea what was coming in the pit update, but we did have visions of an entirely new area ripe for exploration. However, when the pit update did drop, it wasn't at all what we were expecting. Firstly, we weren't really given a new area to explore, which is typically the norm with Bethesda expansions. Instead, we were given snapshots of two different areas of the pit, both of which offered very little in the way of opportunities to actually explore. So apparently, it took just two and a half months to develop the pit, and almost a year to actually release it. For many, the pit is little more than a glorified daily op featuring two separate missions that boast randomized objectives, which kind of work to give the illusion of something with a little bit more depth to it. Basically, following this update, it's revealed that the responders have miraculously returned to Appalachia, descending upon the White Springs Resort and turning into the White Springs Refuge. Of course, even this part of the update was underwhelming, as it's little more than a few banners being hung around the building and some haphazardly placed responder NPCs walking aimlessly around. To actually initiate the pit's expeditions, players are forced to complete three randomized tasks, which usually have them making soup, finding wood, or taking pictures of things. This in turn rewards them with the fuel that powers the vertebrate that flies them some 230 miles to the pit. Now at the moment, I believe the record for completing one of the pit's missions is something like 5 or 6 minutes, and that's including the bonus randomized side tasks that are raised alongside the main mission. When you're in the pit, there's almost nothing to do aside from completing the main mission and whatever else it is you've been tasked with. It's a relatively law-breaking update, as it doesn't really make sense that Pittsburgh would be in the exact same state that it is in Fallout 3, when there are more than 150 years between these two games. But let's move past that for a moment. It has been suggested that A, this is the first of many expeditions coming to Fallout 76, and B, the two missions that are available in the pit will be expanded on after X amount of time. So, there might be more coming, but at present, there's absolutely no information to suggest what this could actually be. Outside of the main content package, we were treated to the usual assortment of items that come with an update in Fallout 76. This included a new scoreboard, some new weaponry, skins, customization items, and a bunch of camp items as well. Ultimately, for something that was penned as being one of the biggest updates to Fallout 76 in its four-year history, it felt very underwhelming when it was delivered. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, and it is content, something that Fallout 76 is in dire need of. It's just not as much as we thought it would be. It's worth playing, and the introduction of the pit did open up a whole new store and a whole new currency in the game, but that's about it. Once you've picked up the rewards that are available and taken a few laps around the pit, you'll be done with it and eagerly awaiting the next update, whenever that may be. So did you enjoy the pit, or like me, do you feel it's a little bit of an underwhelming update? Let me know in the comments.